In March 2017, the province of Ontario announced the Ontario Black Youth Action Plan, a $47 million investment towards improving outcomes for black youth and families across the province. Empowerment Squared was honoured to be invited to a conversation around this investment, and we applied and were successful in receiving funding to run a campaign that we called Our Youth, Our Future. We named it this way because we wanted to make sure that we were focusing on the aspirations of the young people in our community and the contributions that they're making. This has been a mind-blowing experience for all of us. We were able to register hundreds of youth who participated in the campaign. We also work with various community stakeholders and organizations to bring the campaign alive. We engage youth in politics, leadership development, poetry, culture, and education. If there's one big thing we learned, it's that young leaders in Hamilton are truly exceptional. But don't take our word for it. Check it out for yourself. My name is Matthew Green and I'm the very proud Ward 3 City Councillor right here in the city of Hamilton, Ontario. And tonight, we're going to be launching as a part of the Ontario Black Youth Action Plan, the African Youth Governance Conference. This is the Canadian chapter, the Empowerment Squared edition of a program that takes the African diaspora and reconnects them with continental Africa. This would be my first time kind of venturing on my own to my home country and kind of really connecting to my country in that way and to do it on such a political and social platform means a lot to me. This is an opportunity that really is once in a lifetime and not a lot of people have and I want to not let opportunities like this pass by but also take something away from it where I can then add to other people's lives through the knowledge I gained. You know more than anything else this project is really about an exercise in international relations. In a lot of ways for the black youth who have been spread across North America throughout the diaspora. It's an opportunity to see where their ancestors came from that go beyond the narratives of slavery, racism and oppression that is often experienced here today. And I believe that being rooted in that positive identity will help empower these youth to return home with a new sense of self, a new sense of identity and a broader sense of belonging. So today is the All In For Change art workshop hosted by Empowerment Squared as part of the Our Youth, Our Future campaign. We're super excited to welcome leading Hamilton artists Israel Crooks and Stilo Stars, the facilitators. We've got youth from across the city who are coming together to work through a bunch of different artistic activities all around the theme, All In For Change. So they're expressing their thoughts about themselves, their identity, their futures, and the great things that they're gonna do for our communities and the ways that they're gonna develop into leaders and do great things. Today is an art explosion, an extravaganza geared at the youth who will use this opportunity to express themselves, express their identity through the many different art activities that we have on for them. So today's workshop, the theme is All In For Change. And the idea for that is in order to create a positive change to any end goal, everyone has to be in, all hands on deck. We're breaking up the day into two specific workshops. Both workshops are basically solidifying the future and kind of building a vision for these children. So the first option is we have a tree that we're creating out of handprints and it's kind of solidifying, you know, this is who I am and three people or three things that you like about yourself with your name. The main activity was, which was a collage activity, which consisted of uh, images, that they thought reflect them the most. I call it like a spellbinding kind of activity. You're, you're casting a spell for your future. I want to be a teacher for gymnastics class. I want to be a person that who shares their job and their work. If I don't become a soccer player, I'll become a basketball player. If I don't become a basketball player, I want to become a football player. So my name is Henda, and in the future, I want to be a teacher. All in for change is together we can change a stereotype. We can change a narrative, if you will, and we could reach for something new and, and more exciting and redefine who we are to the community and hopefully to ourselves.
I am razor sharp rain on bamboo leaves. Heartbeat, rising and setting with spirits. I am baked in umaya clay, dancing with amuzi masquerades on grandfather's grave. On grandfather's grave. I am grandfather's sins, forgiven. What you know about a life with a live it, you fight, fight your, your own, own identity. identity. My people fighting the virus and I'm the remedy. I'm the whole history of my culture. Went from African excellence to a menace in the city streets. Pity me, it's something that you should never do. I'm out on my road, they put me on a pedestal. My intuition keeps telling me I should be hard. I work that way, collect revenue like I'm Steve Jobs. I am the light to my son. I am the smile to my happiness. I am my mother's smile. She is the love to my heart. I am the applause to a goal. I am the wings to a birdie. I am the laughter of my friends. I am a quiet mind and a listening ear. I'm not sure who I am, but I'll always find out. I'm not tamed. Don't be lame. I'm on James. That's where we came, like a new stage in a video game. Hamilton or Gotham, we cannot be proclaimed. In the shadows of the day, as the nights turn gray, dressed in a suit or a cape, you all have a role to play. These are all me. I am not an archetype to be filed away in a dusty cabinet, because I assure you that you will be confused and let down when I am something that you thought I wasn't. So just leave me on the open table to avoid your disappointment, and let me be human, ever-changing and imperfect, perhaps unidentifiable to you, but an identity that's mine. New Omega Zeta is a sisterhood uh, founded at McMaster University September 7, 2011. So New Omega Zeta is the first Black-focused sorority in Canada. I really like the idea of a group of like-minded women who came together to unify not only ourselves but our community in Hamilton. New Omega Zeta has three pillars, sisterhood, volunteerism, and knowledge. Uh, we really do like what Empowerment Squared stands for. We like being able to help others. Our identity as Black women and as New Omega Zeta is something that sometimes is not celebrated enough. So what we wanted to do was put on an event where we celebrate who we are. So one of the numerous things we do is stepping. So there was an activity where we separated people into groups. Some people made, came up with a step, some people came up with a chant. And I mean, they got to see what we really do behind the scenes. Are ready? We are the youth, we are the future. We stand together to lift each other. I think it's an amazing campaign. I think the Empowerment Squared Our Youth Our Future campaign, I think when youth see it, I think they're gonna see themselves re really represented. And I think right now we're, in 2018, we're almost going through this like cult like black cultural renaissance. And I feel like youth seeing themselves represented and just seeing the different options that are available to them and just knowing that there are so many different avenues that they could follow and that the world really is their oyster. How are you doing? Good. Good. Welcome to City Hall, welcome to Toronto, and thanks for making a trip from Hamilton to be here. We must always keep the rhythm with our culture, with our tribe, with our community, with our clan, with our class, with our school. And that's one of the reasons that politics is so disarray, because there's nobody holding down the rhythm. Uh, but a big part also making this possible today 
He was the lead behind the Ontario Black Youth Action Plan. So it's really great that you're here at Queen's Park. We're very <coughs> delighted to have you here. And I understand you have some questions for us. Now, you're in this room so that you can ask us anything. We're here to answer your questions. What were the strategic things you did to get here? I went to the library, I had no clue. I was like 16, 17 years old. I had no clue about politics. My parents didn't vote. You know, for me, it was like every step I was taking, I'd hear these voices in the back of my head. It was either like Malcolm or Stokely Carmichael or Baldwin. I'm going to give you a verse, okay? Check this out. I'm going to give you a verse. <laughs> Karis, one verse. He says, what's the solution to stop all this confusion? We'll write the Constitution, changing drugs in which we use them. We'll write the Constitution, the Emancipation Proclamation, we we'll fight inflation, but the president's still on vacation. Boy. Oh. Memorial Church has a has a very long history, over 180 years in the community. It was the beacon, the lighthouse for the black community. It's been in the community forever. Our Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, Lincoln Alexander, sang in the choir right here. Having the the futures of of uh, African peoples. Um, up and performing and in a space that really celebrates that and brings people together at an event that's necessary in Hamilton and beyond. I want to see more empowerment. I want to see um, more events that are targeted at youth, at marginalized youth, that um, really give the voices back to them. So thank you so very much. I love each and every one of you guys. So the reason I really wanted to, to go out in the community to raise the money is personally I love watching movies. I'm at like the theater every other Friday. My mother doesn't approve of it, but I think it's, it's okay. I love watching movies. Black Panther is an important movie because it, it allows people to dream. Um, it transports your consciousness to this place that you know you knew always existed in your heart, but you never saw it as a picture. Every time I had gone to uh, Jackson Square, downtown Hamilton, to watch the movie, I'd always seen one or two empowerment square kids, the kids that I volunteered with, right outside that theater just waiting. And usually what I'd do is, I'd say, hey, let's go, just go watch the movie together. i just buy the ticket, one or two kids. But this movie was so important that I think everybody should see it. I want to make sure that there's no young person waiting outside the theater without having the funds to, to go into it and watch it. For many of us, things like a $40 movie ticket um, is such a luxury. Um, but we don't think about it as a luxury. But for many kids in our city, uh, the people just don't have the $40 to spend on a movie, popcorn, and stuff like that. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that nobody misses this opportunity to dream. For me, I think the movie was really good and it was just nice to see that representation. Um, my favorite part was when Shuri was making the technology because she's my favorite character because I really love science myself as well. I feel like the depiction of our culture, like depiction of our hair, like mm -hmm. our skin, everything in it kind of reflected us in a place that we're not necessarily. And I feel like that was the best part for me anyways. I think uh, the Our Youth Our Future campaign will uh, wake the province up to the realities uh, facing young black people across um, across the province, specifically in Hamilton, but do it in a way that is led by the voices of the black youth across the city and across the province. And what do you think about being called a, a local superhero for making sure 200 yeah. of youth get to see Black Panther? Yeah. It's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't really think about that. It's um, as long as we get the kids to go watch the movie. Um, that's the critical thing. And as, as long as we're supporting the kids after the movie, you know, it's, it's great that we give 200 young people one opportunity to have this fantastic experience and we should do that. And we might give them four hours of the best time of their lives, uh, but those four hours eventually fade. Um, so we have to make sure that when they go back home, we keep supporting them throughout the entire year and for the rest of their lives, really.